In this video, we are going to take a look at the M2 money supply. We will be looking at the definition slash meaning as well as look at the different types of money that is included in the M2 money supply. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. First of all, let's take a quick look at what we mean by money supply. Money supply is basically the amount of money in an economy. So that is pretty straightforward. But what is the M2 money supply? Well, M2 is a calculation that includes everything in M1, which is a different type of money. I have a video about that and it will be linked up in the corner in the eye. But yeah, it includes everything in M1 as well as what we call near money. And near money is also money that can be quickly converted into cash, but not as quickly as the things in M1. So we can illustrate this. Let's say that everything inside this circle, well, it's not really a circle, but yeah, everything inside of this is M2. But we also know that M1 is a part of M2. So we can write that M1 is here. And I really recommend you watch the video about the M1 money supply, but we can just say for short what it includes here. So it includes physical money, you know, the coins and paper money. M1 also includes checkable deposits, so accounts where you can as access your money very quickly. It also includes something called traveler's, traveler's checks. And these ones are pretty outdated, but, but they can pretty much be used as normal physical money. Now let's take a look at the things that are new with M2. So the things that comes right here. All right, so let's take a look at the types of M2 money that are not included in the M1. So first of all, we have something called savings deposits. And what is this? Well, well, these are accounts that pays interest. So you get money from saving in the accounts, but the number of withdrawals you can make may be restricted. For some saving deposits, you can't take out money every day. You will have a certain amount of times you can actually withdraw your money. Then we have something called money market account. And this one is pretty similar to the saving deposits accounts. But, but the difference here is that it has, it pays a higher interest rate, but it requires a minimum balance. So the pro here is that you get more interest rate than in a savings account. But the con here is that it requires you a certain amount of money in the account. And one more type of M2 money that are not in M1 is certificate of deposits. And what is this? Well, let's write it here. Okay, so I really hope you can read this, but a certificate of deposits is basically a product offered by banks that provides interest rate in exchange for a customer to leave a certain deposit that is untouched for a certain period of time. So this makes the certificate of deposit not as liquid as, for example, cash. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any help or value, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys want to see more, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have a great, great day and I will hopefully catch you in the next video. But for now, take care. Ciao, ciao.